have a few tips for day three. I hope I'm not confusing you by calling it day three, but since this is the third time that you guys have worked on your artwork, that's why I'm calling it day three. I hope that makes sense. Tip number one, dip your brush often. Remember that brushes don't have a reservoir or a barrel of ink like markers or ink pens do. So you have to dip your brush more often to have enough paint on your brush to be able to make a line. So that means you need to dip your brush every couple of inches. Tip number two, lightly touch the surface of the canvas with your brush. You don't ever wanna smash your brush onto the canvas. That's gonna give you nice, thin, detailed lines. Tip number three, hold your brush perpendicular to the surface or straight up and down on the canvas. If you lean the brush to the side, you'll get a thicker line, but if you hold your brush perpendicular or straight up and down, that's gonna give you a nice thin line. All right, here we are on day three, and we are going to start painting the inside of our owl today. And we're gonna use all these colors to paint inside of our owl. I'm using my second to largest brush, the angled brush. And you guys can decide what colors you want. If you don't like the color combinations that I use, then you're certainly welcome to use whatever colors you would like. So I'm gonna start with some yellow, first of all, because yellow is the lightest color and has a tendency to get lost with other colors. So I'm gonna use my yellow first. And I'm gonna use these kind of splotchy brush strokes to paint. So I'm going to put a little yellow up here and a little yellow above this eye. And I'm going to put a little bit of yellow kind of around the bottom curves of both of my eyes. My yellow is a little bit green because my brush was dirty, which I don't mind. But if you want pure yellow, just make sure your brush is really clean. Down here at the bottom. And then mine starts to mix in with, with the green, which is okay too, because I'm actually going to green next. And I'm going to keep all of my brush strokes kind of pointing downward as much as possible. So that way these brush strokes look like feathers. Okay, so now I've got some green on there. If you like green, add a little more green. Now I'm gonna switch over to blue and I'm not rinsing my brush. I'm switching over to blue. And you can see that that blends with the green and gives you this really pretty teal color again. I'm going to go to dark blue. And if you want some purple, pick up some pink and put that on top of your dark blue or your light blue. And that'll give you a purple color. So I'm just going to use these same brush strokes to kind of paint the inside of my owl's face. And if at any time you feel like that your um, brush strokes are getting kind of muddy looking, your colors are getting muddy, you can stop and rinse your brush out. I sort of like the color that's going on with mine, so I'm just gonna leave it for right now. And again, my, all my brush strokes are kind of slanting downward at, from here down, from the eyes and the nose down. All of these slant down. So when I get to the top part of the owl here, all of my brush strokes are gonna start going up this direction because the feathers come from the beak and then curve around this way. So now my brush strokes are gonna start going this direction from the beak. And again, if you want more pink in there, add some more pink, you could do it with more red. It's totally up to you. And go out the tufts a little bit. Remember these are called tufts. And don't worry if it kind of blends in with your background a little bit. We'll, we'll work on that. And 
there. So I'll finish this up. So now all my brush strokes kind of come from the beak and go up and around. And these kind of go downward. And I can finish this down here. I got a little bit too much white space showing. A little bit of white space is okay. All right, and that's it for day three. Thank you.